little over a year ago, we talked about doing uh, building this truck. It's been an interesting, challenging 18 months here at Workforce. As many are finding out in the industry, going from an EV startup to a real commercial truck company is not easy. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of people, it takes a lot of suppliers to get things done. And some have already found out it's a tough road. Some have not made the journey already, they've already failed, and I expect there'll be more casualties in 22 and 20, 23 and 24 as people run out of money. At Workhorse, we have the people. We've doubled our engineering team in the last 12 months. We built a technical center. We moved into new headquarters with prototype equipment. We have a new fact. We have a rebuilt our factory. We doubled the size of our factory. We have a test track. We've done all the work. Most importantly, we have the capital from a financial standpoint to make the journey from start to real production. Started the year with $100 million of cash. We have access to another $175 million of cash to fund the company. Not every EV startup company can say they can do that. Okay. So we're on track this year. We sold trucks last year. We're on track to sell a lot more trucks this year. I won't give the exact number, but our revenue should be up 15 to 20 times this year over last year. So we are becoming a real truck company as we speak, okay? Behind the curtain here is our W56. We talked about that a year ago. It's the cornerstone of our three-year product roadmap to deliver a robust work truck that meets the needs of our customers. We've, uh, we've gone out and benchmarked our competitors. We've talked to all of our key fleets. We understand their demands. We also went out and bought our own fleet for FedEx. We run a route every single day since last July, 11 trucks through the peak season. We've run the trucks late at night, Saturdays and Sundays deliver packages. And our engineers have done a hell of a job taking that information from the drivers, from our customers, from our competitors and designing the W56. I'm not gonna go into all the details, I'll let Dave do that. But this truck you here, it can meet the demands, 15 year to 20 year life. It can meet the rugged payload requirements it can travel 150 mile range. This truck has the tightest turning radius in the industry. It's got the best visibility for drivers. And it's got a robust, it's carry 10,000 pounds. Okay? So without further ado, well, I should say this. I'm super proud as a guy who was born in Lafayette, Indiana, who resides in Evansville, Indiana, to be in Indiana in the heartland of America, introducing a truck that's going to be built in a plant that was left to die for over 20 years, where 800 people lost their jobs, and we're gonna build that plant back in the city of Union City and create 500, 600 jobs in America to build American-made trucks for American-made customers. So let's pull back the curtain. Here's the W56, we're proud to introduce it. So. A lot of our engineers here, they should be damn proud of it. We've got our program managers here, we've got suppliers here. Without the suppliers, without the engineers, without the program managers, without the sales team, we wouldn't have this truck. They've done a hell of a job in less than 12 months from start to finish. This is a truck that can meet the demands of the field.